hey girls and dudes hey so per usual my brows are already done but i have a whole tutorial on how i do these that i'll link in the description box if you're interested starting things off i'm going to be using the kat von d lock it concealer in the shade l1 to prime my lids with i'm then going to blend it all out using a beauty blender and then set it using makeup geeks white lies eyeshadow which is just a white eyeshadow any white or light colored eyeshadow will do to make the blue shades we're about to work with pop the palette we're going to be working with today is the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place, which I've been obsessed with. We're going to start off with the shade Yara on a Sigma E25 brush. I'm going to start lightly packing this onto my lid and blending it into my crease area. The reason I'm using a blending brush over a dense brush is just because I want more of a lighter kind of dusting of shimmer rather than a super packed on metallic look. If you do want that super packed on kind of metallic look, just use a dense brush brush and maybe spray it with a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter Spray or just a little bit of water and you will get more of that heavy metallic look. But here I'm just blending it into my crease, just giving a nice blown out kind of shimmery light tealish blue. If you guys want to go full on Bowie with this look, go for it. You can take this shade all the way up to the brow like he did, but I did more of an inspired look so I just took it right above my crease and then kind of stopped there. Next, we're going to go into this awesome blue shade, which looks 10 times darker in the pan than in person. It's actually super vibrant. I believe it's called Yejide. Yejide. I do not want to botch that, but I hope that is right. I'm going to be using a smaller, denser kind of dome brush in the outer corner here. You can see I'm lightly tapping on this shade. I don't want to load up the outer corner with a bunch of product just yet. I'm just slowly building it up. I'm also going to be creating more of a round shape, more of like a C shape, just because I want more of a round shape for the finished product. Once the product starts leaving the brush, I'm gonna start bringing this into the crease area or if you have hooded lids or deep set eyes, it's probably gonna be more like the socket for you is where you're gonna start blending this in. And when I need more of that blue shade, you'll see here that I'm going into that outer C area where we had placed all that blue color and I'm just going to pull this into the crease rather than digging back into that blue shade and slopping it all over the crease and things get out of hand real quick, at least for me. Whenever I feel like I need more of that blue shade, what I'll do is I'll add it to that outer C area and then I'll go in and blend it out. And here I switch to a fluffier blending brush and blowing it out without getting all those kind of crazy skid marks that you can get when you're using a dense brush. Before I go back in and add any more color, I always make sure what I just placed is nice and blended out. And then you will see here, I will go back and forth between adding more of that darker blue shade with my dense brush and then blending it out with more of a kind of fluffier uh, blending brush. And the reason I go back and forth rather than just placing the color on all at once is because I feel like it's way easier to get a nice blown out blended look when you just slowly add the pigment and then give yourself some time to blend it out before you add more. I don't know, maybe that's just common sense, but it works for me. Moving on to my face, I'm gonna be using Milk Makeup's Blur Stick, which is a primer, and I'm gonna place this wherever my pores show up, which is basically just my T-zone area, and then I'm going to pat it in real quick. For foundation, I'm gonna be using It Cosmetics CC Cream and the Cover Effects Magical Unicorn Drops in the shade Halo. They're not really called that, but that's what I'm calling it. Anyways, I'm gonna place this all over my face and blend it out using a BB blender. I wish it happened this fast in real life though. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer for my dark areas of my under eyes and the NARS Chantilly concealer everywhere else basically as highlights or just everywhere, yeah. Then I'm gonna blend it out using a beauty blender. And to set it all, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Smooth Operator Translucent Powder. This is the loose powder. I'm just going to set my under eye is what I'm doing. Starting on our lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into the Magic Palette into the shade Yara on a Sigma E25 brush. I'm gonna start blending this across the lower lash line. I do tend to blow out my lower lash line like pull it down quite a bit. If you don't like that look, you can of course keep this closer to the lower lash line.
Then I'm gonna use a really tiny detailer brush and go back into that Yeja Day shade and I'm gonna press this right up on my lower lash line. So before we were kind of keeping it, whatever, just kind of blending it around. Here we wanna start by keeping it super close to the lash line. I'm also making sure I'm blending this up into that outer C area on that upper lid area. You don't wanna leave a super huge gap there, at least I don't like to do that. Then I'm gonna go back in with my Sigma E25 brush and just blend this out so there's not a really harsh blue line there. For the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go into the shade Yemoja, I believe it's pronounced, on a super dense brush, and I'm gonna tap this on the inner corner of both eyes areas. <laughs> For mascara, I'm gonna be using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm gonna apply this all over my lashes. I'm also gonna line my waterline using a pencil by Sigma. It's a light blue pencil. I'll link it down in the description box since I failed to provide a picture, but yeah, that's what I did. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette in the lightest bronzer shade. I'm gonna apply this right below my cheekbone and start blending upwards. I also have to place it under my jawline because you know me, you have to have that sharp ass jawline. For blush, I'll be using Sigma Serene Blush. I'm gonna tap, tap, tap all over my cheeks. For highlight, I'll be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Palette in the shade Blue Ice, and I'm basically gonna bathe in it. Not really, but I want to. I'm just going to put this on my cheekbone area, and then I'm gonna contain myself from there. For lashes, I'm gonna use House of Lashes Siren Lashes, which are my favorite ever when I'm not wearing eyeliner. For lips, I'm going big or going home. I'm gonna be using Stila's Beso Liquid Lipstick. I'm gonna first outline my lips with it and then I'm gonna fill it in with all this red goodness. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey girl, hey, down in the comments box because you know I love talking to you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.